Hello there. Today I'd like to talk to you about a, a game that I really enjoy playing. Um, it's called Alan Wake. Uh, I believe there's two uh, episodes uh, of that game. The first one, which one, the one that I'm talking to you about, and the second one called American Nightmare. Uh, I like the mood of the game. It's got a solid storyline, uh, good action, uh, very good spooky, scary atmosphere. Uh, so I, I I really enjoyed it. Um, so uh, I'm gonna try to share with you uh, a few levels, uh, and and um, I hope you guys will enjoy it, and uh, you will make your um, opinion about the game and whether to uh, buy it or or not. But it was uh, quite an enjoyable game, really. So let's start from the beginning. Doesn't this remind you a movie? Or a series of movies? Yeah, you've guessed. I know what you did last summer. <laughs> So here you are, in the middle of nowhere, in the road, uh, no way backward, for some reason I don't know, um, are we in a dream or, or is it real, obviously not because there's a wall here, look, so you can't go backward. My car is broken, uh, all my books. All over the floor. It's a tutorial, I think, uh, that you have to go through in a way to escape that. So, let's try to find a way out from that terrible kind of nightmare. You know, I start feeling that uh, when you're dead or when you're dreaming and you've got that thing here, follow the light, go to the light. Uh oh. Do you, Ryder? You think you're God? You think you can just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them with your fingers? Well, he's pretty angry, I do not know why. Got something against me. It would be a single readable sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories. Because I'm gonna kill you. It's not like your stories are any good. 
Not like they have any the artistic merit. You're a lousy rider. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. is the checkpoint see I like uh, cabins in the wood evil did 2013 kind of scary I, I strongly believe there are many Cliche, cliches of, of movies, horror movies in, in that game. Follow the light. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. So the light seems to be healing you and protect you from those monsters, ghost, whatever it is. On the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports, this is pretty creepy mood there, you know. I really like that. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. I think it's pretty original that you have to uh, make them like physically uh, harm harmable. You can harm them once they are in in a physical form. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects us. The 
to be able to uh, make them in a change them to physical form you have to first highlight them with your torch and now they are vulnerable to physical damage good you've done well remember what I've taught you that is all I will give you back your dream now. We don't really know what the guy was, what what he's talking to me in my dreams or something. Not clearly explained though. Hopefully, uh further inside the game uh we will understand a bit more. Close. One more hit and I was dead. <coughs> well, I've got a flag gun here. This is a very powerful gun. Exhausted. No, I can't do anything about that.
looks like it was a nightmare. I don't know if you noticed, but it has that game really has that um, uh, special touch or uh, of, of Stephen King into it. I'm a fan of Stephen King. I've read many of his books, if not all of them, and this game especially has that. Okay, I, can, I just realise now that it's got. Atmosphere to touch the. <laughs> sure, I'll even give you a title for the shot: a city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. <laughs> that man looked like Woody Allen. Deer fest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have. If you don't mind me saying, I'm Pat Mayba. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And that's cute. Right. Yeah? Very. Yeah. We just got here. No, Barry, we're fine. Barry, we're just settling in. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Apparently, that was her idea to come here. Keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut. Number six in the jukebox. <laughs> I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. You serious? Coconut again? 
You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. Now that's what I'm talking about, yes! This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with her? Young man, you can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. What a creepy woman. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed. And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? Splendid, <laughs> splendid! <laughs> Damn hungry. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Harkin to pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. I'll be heading back to work as soon as well, Dr. Hartman gets here, me. Rose. Bye, Mr. Well, this is when it gets spooky. So, if the guy is the owner, and was supposed to give me the keys, who the hell is that woman? And where am I going? Yeah, man, that's settled you, innit? You know what's gonna happen. Yeah, exactly. It really remind me of uh, Stephen King's book, where the writer character come to life and and uh, hassle him for uh, not killing him uh, at the end of the book. Wow. Lovely graphic. Look at that sunset. It's something, all right. Them down. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Okay, let's go then.
Yeah, and that reminds me, um, Crystal Lake, uh, Mike Myers, Jason. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. What a lovely place. Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. Alice? Honey? The deer fest cats have already started. Mm -hmm. Radio was talking about you. I have a surprise for you. Upstairs. I like that. Well, hello there. Wow. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. I'm coming! What the? What the hell? Stay away from me! Ah, this is not good.
keep going. How did my car got here? You know what I mean? Okay, I've got no weapon, just a flashlight. Even not. Oops. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. 